come again. Oh. Nothing can stop it. Certainly not. Ladies always go first. Oh, Where nice. You? Watch that step. Watch it. Ah! Oh. 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 It's got me. It's got my hands. It's got my... It's got... Cheese. It's this hand. It's this. It's... Oh. 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 Hurry up. I feel like a mouse. Get, get me out of this. the air hereinafter named should prove to be of unsound mind, or if said heir should become insane or should meet death within a month of inheriting, then my estate is to be given to the person whose name is contained in envelope number two. Well, that will is practically an invitation to commit murder. I remember a situation almost like this in an old play called The, the Fatal Hour, or She Should Have Known Better. At the end of the second act, the leading man takes the heroine in his arms and, and, he, and he kisses her. And then, filled with new courage, he starts out after the villain. And, uh, of course, comes back in the third act. Oh, sure. Uh, no. As a matter of fact, in the third act, he's found dead in the bathtub. Why, there's nothing. Hey, wait a minute. This is loose. Hey, what's this? Listen, baby, don't be surprised if we discover an old skeleton in here. Well? Joyce! Joyce! <laughs> 